And now to your health. Rice University is part of a research team developing an implant designed to improve adherence for obesity and type 2 diabetes drugs. Yeah, this invention can be a game changer. Uh, the benefit, it might help bring down cost. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with this new technology. Haley. Good morning, guys. So I spoke to a researcher from Rice about this implant that they're hoping to make available in the next few years while reducing development and manufacturing costs of drugs like Ozempic, Manjaro, and Wagovia. This is Rogue, an implant about the size of the tip of my finger, and it's designed to function as a living pharmacy, making drugs accessible in the body on demand. With this platform, um, we hope that we can reduce the cost of goods to less than $1,000 per year. Last week, the CEO of Novo Nordisk testified before Congress, who was drilling the company on why Americans are paying so much for drugs like Ozempic. All while studies show the drugs reduce risk for health complications like heart disease and cognitive decline. But the company made no plans to lower the cost. So, Rice researcher Omid Veza says the rogue technology is designed for rapid and cost-effective deployment via a minimally invasive procedure in an outpatient clinic. Then patients and physicians can monitor and adjust to drug dosing once this is inside. At that moment, it will communicate with, with an app that would be, um, you know, put on your iPhone or your iWatch. So rather than current therapies where you sort of administer a large dose to begin with just to have coverage for for the whole week. And that creates a lot of the side effects. Within five years, VESA plans to begin using this in patients and eliminating two of the biggest issues with weight loss drugs. If we can create a device that can house these cells and enable their control, we can safely deploy this into patients, reduce cost, improve compliance, and really increase the accessibility of these really effective drugs for a lot more patients. Now this implant can be recharged and it eliminates the need for managing a daily, weekly or monthly medication, administering, storing and restocking. And really guys, this could in theory be transferred to any type of drug that has to be injected. Interesting, yeah, right, yeah, that is. I mean, it's so you just keep that implant in. You were saying you don't have to worry about the yeah. syringes and the everything else, which ideally is the reason that this would bring down the cost. And then he says that this could stay in a patient for about a year. Maybe you go to the to an outpatient clinic every year and get it replaced. Right. Wow. Well, well that easier sounds too like, for the yeah. patient. Exactly. Right. It makes you more compatible with the drug. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks Haley. I comply more. Sorry.